Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video and today we are talking about how to defend against wall breakers. We're going to be featuring uh, replays on the developer build where I tested out different uh, setups on the outside of your base for defending wall breakers. We'll analyze popular things people do, whether or not they're actually effective, things like that. Um, so be sure to check out my wall breaker pathing video a few um, months ago, I believe, where I talk about how the AI for wall breakers actually works. And in the comments below, um, let me know what you think of the video, as well as what troop AI videos you want to see next using the developer build where I can kind of do different setups and we can really get into the details of how troops work and how you want to defend against them. So that all being said, let's get into some of these replays and talk about how to defend against wall breakers. Okay, so we're going to be showing uh, little bits of a base, um, just like a little small piece of it. And a popular thing people do is put like a strip of walls kind of blocking wall breakers from targeting a certain section of a compartment. But that doesn't actually work that well because the wall breakers will still go around and target um, the building that was closest to them when they were deployed. So you can't actually defend unless you have a very long strip of walls. Um, the wall breakers are going to kind of go in a uh, semicircle formation and target whatever building was closest to them within the walls when they were deployed. Um, we'll put some extra trash buildings, but the same thing happens. You can see it's not that hard to target um, those middle walls, assuming that's what we want opened up. Uh, the walls by that middle gold storage are, op are able to be opened up. So um, not that effective. It does make it harder to funnel in like bowlers and uh, the actual kill squad itself, but putting that layer of walls actually doesn't do a whole lot to stop wall breakers. Um, let's make a small change here, and you can see if we don't want them to wall break into the compartment with the spell factory in the barracks, we can set those two buildings kind of back, meaning the wall breakers will target the gold storage compartments first. Now, unfortunately, they were right next to the actual uh, middle compartment, so they opened up both. But um, we can make a small adjustment here to try to prevent wall breakers from targeting that middle compartment. And you can see we put them even farther away. So the wall breakers are going to, for the most part, target the gold storages. And um, a few of them will go for the middle compartment because as we move the gold storages farther away, the closest building for some of those wall breakers becomes the spell factory in the barracks. So it's kind of a difficult thing to balance there. But um, just if it was a smaller compartment, Keep in mind that if you set a building back by two tiles, the wall breakers will be less likely to target that wall. Um, let's go into something else here, which is the small bomb, or I guess the regular size bomb. Great way to kill wall breakers, put it two tiles from the wall. So keep one tile between the wall and that bomb and put it where people are likely to use wall breakers. Um, it's a very common technique, been around for a while. Um, you can see here, a test wall breaker is the way you want to do it. If you're attacking, you do a test wall breaker, then you do uh, the remaining wall breakers. But it will kill the wall breaker as long as it is one tile away from the wall. And you can see that um, oftentimes people will put down a test wall breaker, then a bunch more way too early. And you can kill wall breakers that way. So it is a little bit tricky. I still think it's worth doing um, at most town hall levels. Uh, right here, we even are going to deploy the wall breakers a little bit later. But... Even still, I think one of them got killed. So it just shows that the range of the bomb is much more than as it what it shows up when you place it. The range you see when you place the bomb is just the range to trigger it, but it reaches out quite a bit farther. So that's a good way to kill some wall breakers. If you're doing it on the corner, you want to put it, um, once again, not touching the wall, but like one or two tiles offset. And you can see it can still reach the wall breakers as they approach the wall there. Um, so that works out very nicely. Um, that's how you want to do it. Uh, just to show you guys, you want to make sure it's not actually touching the wall. Otherwise, the wall breakers, as you see, will have time to detonate and open up the wall. So one tile away is going to be ideal. So moving on, let's talk a little bit about uh, Tesla and Wizard Tower placement, um, which are things that people often don't think as much about. In this case, we have a Tesla all the way back against the back end of that wall. You can see it doesn't even pop up when the wall breaker... Um, 
uh, goes to the wall. Here we're going to slide it one tile closer so now it's touching the spell factory and you can see it does actually pop up and I think it did kill that wall breaker if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that is a good place to put it and you can see that um, it can kill the wall breakers very quickly. So I sent in a group of two, they both died. Group of three, only one of them went off. Teslas shoot very quickly. So that's going to be one of your best ways to kill wall breakers is by putting the Tesla three tiles away from the wall. It's not ideal for queen walks because the queen can reach it, but if you think there's a place where people are going to use wall breakers, um, you can uh, use the Tesla there. Now, of course, a golem can tank if it's placed correctly, but as you guys will see in a, another replay right here, um, it also can work the opposite way where you drop down a golem a little bit off centered and then Tesla won't pop. So they think they're tanking all the defenses. Then you send in the wall breakers and boom, the Tesla kills one or two of them. Um, I think it only has time when it pops up to kill one of them, but that's still typically enough. Um, so three tiles is ideal between the Tesla and the uh, wall. In that way, um, you, you make sure you kill at least one wall breaker here. Uh, so. Golem goes down. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is if you trigger the Tesla, its range expands, so then it'll start targeting the Golem, uh, which is interesting. The Tesla has a smaller range to be triggered than it does when it's actually targeting troops once it's already been triggered. So the Tesla range is kind of weird how it works like that. Um, let's talk a little bit about the Wizard Tower. You can see right here, um, four tiles away, it does not have really any time to shoot so that's not going to be ideal placement if you're trying to mess up wall breakers although um, it can be better for other things because the queen can't reach it from the outside of the base so there are benefits but um, let's kind of sprinkle them in a little bit and you can see even still it's able to kill a few wall breakers the wizard tower has a weird feature where it'll wind up and as it's winding up to shoot it can change targets so it's not like it'll kind of do a bunch of pump fakes and then like keep resetting it winds up and if one wall breaker like detonates it'll just target the next one in one fluid motion so um, you can get a little bit lucky we moved it one tile closer still not that effective in that replay um, this is going to be your best place to place your wizard towers and it's also good because it defends witches very nicely because bowlers wizards can't reach it but the witches will get stuck on it and they're most likely to get targeted at that point so uh, this is good for both wall breakers as you can see it's killing most of the wall breakers um, has enough time to wind up and shoot those ones are a little bit off centered so it can't quite uh, reach them but that's ideal is two tiles um, that's what I recommend to have one or two wizard towers at that distance. Um, let's go ahead and summarize here as we wrap up this video. Um, as we saw at the beginning, you want to strategically place buildings inside the walls, and that is going to affect what the wall breakers target. For more details, be sure to check out my wall breaker pathing video, which has a bunch of details on the actual AI of wall breakers. But for defending them, you want to manipulate where the buildings are closest to the walls. If there's one skinny compartment you don't want them to wall breaker into, you can set um, the building two tiles back and then set the buildings and compartments next to it uh, right up against the wall. That way the wall breakers will target the other compartments instead of the one you're trying to defend. Um, of course, use bombs two tiles away from walls. Uh, that should be pretty much uh, apparent by now. Most people do that. Um, and then finally, Teslas and Wizard Towers. The ranges I talked about with the Teslas are three tiles away. Wizard Towers are two tiles away. Those are good uh, combinations of defenses to have at places where you think um, the attacker is going to use wall breakers. So I hope this video helped. Like I said, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments and other types of videos you want to see. I know I have not been uploading much lately, but trying to get back on track. And I will see you guys hopefully very soon for another video. Until then, Bisectatron out.